हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फिशरीज ओनली नरिशिंग फिश नर्चरिंग लाइफ और एजुकेशनल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वन मोर कंसेप्ट इन एक्वाकल्चर दैट इज द टाइप्स ऑफ पॉन्ड यूज इन एक्वाकल्चर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर गोइंग टू क्लियर वॉट इज एक्वाकल्चर what is pond and different types of pond depends on water supply as well as depends upon its use so let's move aquaculture is a nothing but the culture of aquatic plant and animals in aquatic environment is called as aquaculture it is a tremendously going food producing sector in the world it is growth rate of the aquaculture is near about 10% and mostly the proteinous food are received from the aquaculture with huge potential for the purpose the we have to culture these animals in a water body and that water body is included in the form of ponds now we will discuss what is pond pond is an inland water body that is inland water body of standing water standing means that is a stagnant water body either it is natural or man made and it is smaller than like that water body is called as a pond ponds have features as it is a smaller than lake and it is of natural or man made origin and it is a inland water body that it may be filled with the either fresh water or marine water or brackish water may be but it is present in the inland that and the water body is a standing water body that structure is called as a pond thus the pond is a structure in which standing water body is held which is of either natural or man made used for fish or other purpose and it is a smaller than the lake and these ponds use the or helps the aquaculture to produce the aquatic plants and animals and mostly the farm animals are come from the plants hence uh, mostly the farm animals comes from the ponds and our it is a main aim to discuss the types of pond which is used in the aquaculture there are two types of pond mostly depends on the water supply for the pond and another one is the depends on use of the pond in the aquaculture the ponds are classified these are the pond structure general structure of the pond here we can see the this is the standing water body is here and one is a water supply channel to the pond pond is maybe of any size mostly rectangle or square ponds also used one from the channel the water gets in or supply to the pond through the inlet and another one it is a drain from the outlet and these inlet and outlets are at the opposite sides inlet side is slightly elevated while the outlet side is slightly lower that is the slope is maintained here to drain the pond properly and these are the dikes here we can see the, the dikes and these are the crest or any platform on the pond to provide premises for us to move or to for utility purpose 
these are the outside slope of the dike and these are the inside slope of the dike these are the pond and this is the one is outlet from which we can maintain the height of the water level in the pond and we can exchange or can drain the our pond when ever necessary we, uh, we can drain that is surface water also mid column water also and with the bottom water also we can there is a in bond type drain outlet we can use three types of drainage well features of the ponds are pond walls are called as dike there we can see which hold the water in the pond pipes or channel this is the channel we can made up of the cement concrete or it may be made up of the pipes which is used to carry the water to the pond or from the pond there are some controls we are here place to uh, regulate the flow of water in the pond or from the pond tracks or roads ways is also provided that is the crest is here this is the roadways to assess the pond while feeding and while harvesting and for monitoring the pond these are the general features of the fish pond now we will discuss the types of ponds depend on water supply classified as spring water pond rain water pond flood pen or oxbow ponds well water pond or water course pond now we will discuss each pond water pond these ponds are supplied by ground water either through natural spring at their bottom or through other laying adjustment to them the spring water is regarded as a good for fish farming because it is a clean water and has no unwanted fishes or fish eggs in that water however if the spring has covered a long distance before drainage into the pond it may have contaminate and should be filtered before use sometimes second one is a rain water pond it is also called as a sky pond and are filled with rain water an extent of their filling depends upon the amount of rainfall if there is a heavy rainfall the pond gets filled earlier and they may be overflow third part is third type is flood plain or oxbow pond the oxbow ponds are water bodies left after the stream supply it as a change its course that means the streams or any water body changes is uh, supply and that pond are formed due to the accumulation of organic material and periodic flooding that ponds are called as uh, oxbow or flood plain pond and it is a highly productive pond because organic material are drained by the running water and fourth one is a water pond such ponds are filled with well water that ponds are called as a water well water filled pond and consider the best for fish culture because well water have no any other contamination of eggs and other fishes and other uh, disease causing organisms such as parasites and pathogens fifth point that is fifth type depends on water supply that is water course pond that is course means the way of the flowing water such ponds are placed on the course of flowing water and divided into two main types that is a barrage pond first pond supplied by spring and rain water are called as a dam or by barrage pond that is 
in running water one dam or any obstacle is created here we can see this is the running water it may be of a spring or a small river and on which the barrage in the form of dams are constructed and the ponds are created that ponds is called as a barrage pond that is uh, one good example is the reservoir is the good example of the barrage pond next one is a diversion pond these includes the linked pond and the parallel ponds in this type all the ponds are supplied by the same bypass channel but each pond has individual supply and outlet a bypass channel from the source flow through the all the ponds means the, here is one running water is there here is a running water from which a diversion is made small diversion of current is made and the ponds are supplied with these uh, water flows through this diversion and again the outlet from this pond are returned to the this uh, flowing water or any river that ponds is called as a diversion pond it may be parallel or or in this series also now we will discuss the types of pond depends on their usage ponds may also be classified according to their uses in the farm that is fish farm these are constructed as per the requirement of the fishes or their stages of the life cycle this is the layout of the fish pond which includes the breeding pond then hatching pond then nursery pond then rearing pond stocking pond marketing ponds these are the and these are the reservoir pond also we can called as a head pond this the depend upon the use we can classify it. first one is a head pond hatching pit or spawning pond nursery ponds rearing ponds and stocking ponds now we will see one by one head pond this is also called as a reservoir pond it is mostly uh, placed where the perennial source of water is available in that situation we can place the head pond near to the perennial pond or we can place in the elevated area in the farm so we can gravitally we can drain this pond into our culture pond or other pond these are mostly used for as a storage of water the purpose of this pond is to meet the water requirement of the entire farm taking into consideration of the losses through the exchange water exchange seepage and evaporation also these are called as a head ponds mostly supplied with the water for storage purpose second pond is hatching pit and spawning pond first we will see the hatching pit these are the small tanks usually 8 by 4 by 2 feet and used for the hatching of the fertilized egg these are located near the riverine collection ground continuous but slow water is desirable for aerating of the eggs this uh, supply water is a continuous plus slow are required in this form the tanks are fixed up with the hapa called as hatching hapa made up of coarse cloth or a mosquito curtain cloth the spawn is collected in a hapa whereas the hatching take place and mostly these ponds are having in few numbers up to uh 6 to 8 ponds we can kept in this farm then the spawning pond it is also called as spawning or breeding pond similar type of ponds are constructed in this farm or at the deeper pond with circulating water may be utilized by fixing the hapa in the latter case the breeders are released 
इन टू दिहाफ आफ्टर इंजेक्शन ऑफ हाइपोपाइजल सस्पेंशन और यानी हारमोल इंजेक्शन फॉर स्पॉनिंग स्पॉनिंग ऑकर्स विद इन दिस हाफा एंड स्पेन ब्रिडर्स आर रिमूव फ्रॉम दी इट नाउ थर्ड वन इज अ नर्सरी पॉन्ड दीज पॉन्ड्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ट्रांसप्लांटेशन पॉन्ड दीज आर ऑफ फिफ्टी बाय फिफ्टी इंटू फोर फीट एंड मे बी सीजनल सो देट मे बी कै ट्राइ डूरिंग दिस समर इट हेल्प्स टू इरेडिकेट दी अनवॉन्टेड वेजिटेशन एंड अदर डिसीज क्रॉचिंग एजेंट्स सच एज फंगी बैक्टीरिया मेनी फिश एनिमीज वी कैन रिमूव बाय ड्राइंग Young fry about three to five days old are transported from the spawning feed to this nursery pond, where they remain for thirty days. And the main object of this nursery is to create a suitable condition or mostly food availability for the growing spawn. After that, the nursery rearing we are go for rearing pond. and these are of the ponds slightly larger than the nursery pond it is also seasonal or perennial pond of sizes 9 into 13 into 4 feet and used for rearing of advanced fry for 2 to 3 months in nursery pond we can harvest fry we can first keep spawn and harvest fry in rearing pond we can rear the fry up to the advanced So, fry to fingerling size. These ponds are made of long and narrow, and gently sloping to the facility. Meaning, these ponds are located near the spawning and nursery pond, as the transplantation or transporting of the fry to these ponds are easy. So, these ponds are nearer to the nursery pond. There may be two, uh, two to two uh, to three. rotations of crop we can done in the spawn and number may be vary according to the our capacity of the hatchery or hatchery unit it may be near about 12 pounds and these are fairly large perennial pond may be up to 1 hectare and may be up to 6 feet deep their size may be 300 to 88 in 2 6 feet and also constructed Mm, that it may be facilitate netting. These are the stocking ponds. Stocking ponds are used to stock the fishes for to grow the fishes up to the harvest season. After stocking pond, there may be uh, some other ponds also. The marketing pond. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel, promote the channel, and share the video. Thank you.